Okay, so you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three. So here's what we're going to do. We gotta find the what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the like the smallest thing all the denominators go into, and then we're gonna multiply all three terms by that lowest common multiple. So like we got 15, 5, and 3, and I think that's the lowest common multiple, right? Because this goes into 15, and that goes into 15. So what what we're gonna do, and okay, I can show you how it works really easy for this one, but then I, I also want to do it in a way that you understand whenever we start getting some variables and some ugly denominators. Because this one's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So, man, check this out. I'm really going to be multiplying by 15 everywhere. But instead of multiplying by, instead of showing that, I'm going to multiply everything by 3 times 5. And you'll see why in a minute. When, when it gets more complicated, when we get denominators that are like x minus 1 and like x plus 4 times x minus 1 you'll, you'll see you'll see why we write it that we multiply just by the factors so this one 3 times 5 and this one 3 times 5 now look I'm not multiplying by well I'm not multiplying by 15 over 15 not at all what I'm actually doing is I'm, I'm multiplying all sides like everywhere by 15 so like really what I'm doing is I'm multiplying I'm gonna put it in green I'm multiplying this side by 15 and this side by 15. And, and like the way I wrote it right here is, is like I already showed that I was distributing. Good so far or not good? Yeah? Okay. So, uh, man. You turned all the denominators into, into 15, right? Actually, no. All the denominators actually reduce. So I'm going to rewrite it real quick just to make it a little cleaner. Okay, so I'm multiplying everything by 15, right? And it's all 15 over 1. Do you see? It's all 15 over 1. And so what happens is this reduces. 5 goes into 5 one time, right? And then you're left with 3 times 4y. Well, that's 12y. And then minus, well, 15 goes into 15 one time. So you're just left with minus 14. And then over here, 3 goes into 3 one time, so you're left with 5y. And now you have a simple equation. Yeah? Do you see? What, what's the matter, Mr. Mr. Flowers? For the middle one? Yeah. It's hey, Mr. Hi. It, it, say it again. Oh, okay. So the first one's five. Yeah, no. the five. Really? Yeah. And this one was fifteen. Well, yeah, because fifteen goes into fifteen one time. Because that was really fifteen, right? Like three times five is fifteen. And yeah, they reduce. So then, when you're done, like, okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when you have a, a variable on each side that you're solving for, it's better to move the smaller one. So 5 is smaller than 12. So what I want to do is I want to subtract 5y from both sides. And I get 7y minus 14 equals 0. And I think we can probably figure that one out in our head. Because like this says what minus 14 is 0? Well, 14 minus 14 is 0, right? And so that needs to be 14, so y is 2. Yep. That's it.